The Life of Ernest Hemingway by Jill Scouten. Who was Ernest Hemingway? Ernest Hemingway was viewed as one of the greatest American novelists of the 20th century. He wrote a variety of novels and short stories. His writings are known for intense masculinity and his adventurous lifestyle that he lived. He is known also for several well-known novels, including The Sun Also Rises, A Farewell to Arms, and For Whom the Bell Tolls. He also wrote a Pulitzer Prize-winning novel called The Old Man and the Sea. Ernest Hemingway was born July 21, 1899 in Cicero, Illinois. He was the son of Dr. Clarence and Grace Hemingway. He was educated in the public school system in a suburb of Chicago, and he enjoyed his summers most when he spent them at his family's cabin in Michigan. Hemingway first got his taste at writing while writing for the high school newspaper where he wrote primarily about sports. After graduation, he did not go on to college, but he moved to Kansas City where he got a job writing for the Kansas City Star newspaper. Hemingway had four great loves throughout his life. They were war, women, writing, and the great outdoors. Hemingway had a huge fascination with war. He was repeatedly rejected, however, for military service due to a bad eye. He did finally enter World War I by enlisting as an ambulance driver in Italy. He was seriously wounded in 1918, and after that he returned home to the United States. During World War II, he worked as a journalist in London and flew with the Royal Air Force, which he crossed the English Channel with American troops on D-Day, June 6, 1944. He also traveled with the 22nd Regiment of the 4th Infantry Division and experienced much military action in Normandy, France and the famous Battle of the Bulge. His wartime experiences created the basis for his novel titled A Farewell to Arms. Hemingway also had a huge love for women. His first love was Agnes von Kurowski, a nurse whom he met while hospitalized in Italy. He was engaged to her, but she later left him for another man. In 1921, he married his first wife, Hadley Richardson. Together, they had one son. They divorced in 1927 following Hemingway's affair with Pauline Pfeiffer, his second wife. Together, they had two sons. They were married from 1927 to 1940. Hemingway's third wife was Martha Gellhorn. She was a fellow war correspondent while she reporting on the Spanish Civil War in 1937. Hemingway and Gellhorn were married from 1940 to 1945. Mary Welsh, another war correspondent that he met while covering World War II, was his fourth wife. They were married in 1946 and were married until his death in 1961. Hemingway's Writings Early works of Hemingway were journalism writings for the Kansas City Star and the Toronto Star. His first non-journalist's work appeared in 1925, which was a collection of short stories called In Our Time. His first novel was The Sun Also Rises. This was about a group of aimless expatriates in France and Spain. He also wrote a variety of short stories, which included titles such as Men Without Women, Winter Take Nothing, The Killer, and The Snows of Kilimanjaro. A Farewell to Arms is a novel about his experiences as a young soldier in Italy, which combines stories of love and war. For Whom the Bell Tolls is considered one of his greatest literary works about war and peace. Hemingway also had a great love for the outdoors. From an early age, Hemingway had a great love for being outside. He spent countless hours at his family's cabin in Michigan, where he learned to hunt, fish, and develop an overall love for the great outdoors. As an adult, in his spare time, he enjoyed chasing adventure by participating in big game hunting in Africa, bullfighting in Spain, and deep sea fishing in Florida. Hemingway, however, struggled with many personal struggles. He had physical ailments, including injuries from war and his adventures, which included surviving multiple plane crashes. He also suffered from high blood pressure and liver disease. Hemingway also had emotional struggles. He suffered from anxiety and depression. He was twice hospitalized at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota, where he received electroshock treatments. Two days after his return home from the hospital on July 2, 1961, he committed suicide. A Clean, Well-Lighted Place, written in 1926 when Hemingway was 26 years old. 
This is a story about nothingness and despair. Both waiters in this story may be reminiscent of Hemingway's life. He was still young with a wife at home, but may have already been having an affair with another woman during the penning of this story. He could understand both viewpoints of each of the waiters and their current life situations. The older waiter wanted to provide a late night space without feelings of pressure for the old man. The younger waiter was impatient and thought more of himself than his customers. The old man in the story had attempted suicide previously. This may represent the stress that Hemingway was experiencing due to his current affair. And this is my presentation on Ernest Hemingway. I hope you enjoyed it. And these are the references I used. Thank you very much for listening.